Hello everyone and welcome to the HSC Excel adding tutorial. In this tutorial we will go through how to add the Excel add-ins to your Excel, how to use them and where you can find the examples of those add-ins. Before you start to use the Excel add-ins make sure that you have the HSC installed on your computer and make also sure that you have a valid license for the HSC. If uh, either of them is missing, the Excel add-ins won't work properly. So first, let's go through how you can add the Excel add-ins to your Excel. So we go to the File menu, then we go to the Options, and from there, on the left, to Add-ins, and then from there, Excel add-ins, Go. And after that, you need to browse and then browse to the HSC installation folder. So by default it's in C, HSC 9, and then there you go to programs, and there you have two files. Normally this HSC 9 excel.xll is the one that you should choose. If it doesn't work, then you can try the 64 file. I will choose this first one press OK. It says that I already have it, so I don't want to replace it. And after that you need to tick the HSC 9 Excel add-in here, and then press OK. So now you are ready to use the Excel add-ins. Before we start to make the examples, we check that the measurement units are correct. And this can be done by going to the add-ins, and then to the HSC and change measurement units. In here we can choose what measurement un units are used in the calculations. I want to keep them as that and I press OK. Now we can go to the first example. So let's uh, zoom a little bit and then calcul uh, let's calculate what is the molecular weight of copper. So we start to write equals to MV and now when you are using the Excel add-ins the Excel will suggest you the functions that are available in the add-in. And then I write copper here and then press enter and now you can see that the Excel calculated the correct value here. As with the other Excel functions you can use references with these add-in functions too. So I can add here or write uh, copper and I can do the same by writing the function here and then referring to the copper and then pressing enter and I get the same results. Next let's go through how to find the different calculation functions that are available in the Excel add-in. So you can either use this uh, FX button over here and then go into the uh, HSC 9 Excel add-in and it will list you all the functions that are available here. Or we can check it from the example file. So if you browse to the HSC 9 folder, go to the add-ins and open the add-in sample then you can see here a long list of uh, functions that are available to be used with the Excel add-ins. On the right here we have description of each function, what it actually does. And then in the C column we have uh, an example calculation of each function. So for example for enthalpy we have an uh, example function here which calculates the enthalpy of the carbon dioxide in 100 degrees of Celsius. Next, let's try out another function uh, in our uh, example. So we can try out for example this VTP which calculates the weight percentage of species 1 in species 2. So if we go back to our uh, Excel and then we want to calculate, uh, let's say, the weight percentage of copper in copper oxide. So we can write it here and then make the calculation function here, VTP, 
and then copper in copper oxide. Press enter and we get the results here. One thing worth of note is that in my example I'm using a semicolon as separator between the parameters. But depending on the language and region, regional settings it might be as well a comma or something else. So you need to check this yourself if you have some other uh, separator than the semicolon. Next let's uh, go through one array function example. So in the Excel add-ins we have one uh, a quite useful array function which is the equilibrium calculations. So uh, this one calculates the equilibrium with certain inputs and certain system definition. So we can try out this ourselves in our example. So let's take the ammonia formation example again where we have a system with some hydrogen and nitrogen and then we see what kind of results we get with the equilibrium calculations. So we define the system with certain temperature and pressure. Let's start with the 25 and 1. And then we define the phases and species for the system. And uh, the phase is defined by starting the phase name with this section sign. And you can find the section sign either in your keyboard or you can find it here, insert and symbol, and in here. You can double click here and close and you get it here. If you have one section sign it means that the phase is a mixture phase. If you have two section signs it means that the phase is a pure phase. And uh, depending on which you choose it can have big effect in the equilibrium calculations so make sure that you have the right phase type. Now we are uh, having the gas phase so we use the mixture type. So now let's write the species so we have the hydrogen, we have the nitrogen and ammonia gas there. And then we have the input values on the next column. So I write here input and the output will be calculate, calculated there. So let's have uh, input of one kilomole of uh, hydrogen, one kilomole of nitrogen. And now we can start making the array function itself. So you start by selecting the area on the output column which corresponds to the phases and species over here. And you need to select it from uh, top to down. Then we can start to write the function. So we write equals to and then stream stream eq and then First we select the phases and the species, then we select the input parameters and we need to select exactly the same sized area as we have here the phases and the species. Then we select the temperature and then we select the pressure. Now I close the parenthesis and I finish the array function by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Enter. And now I can see that I got the results here. This uh, 25 uh, is just a copy of the temperature. So if I change here the temperature, it will uh, copy the value over here. But these are the actual uh, kilomole values of these species. I finished my example by writing the measurement units here so that later on when I open the model, I know what these values represent. Okay. Okay, that's it. So now you know how to install the Excel add-ins for your Excel and how to use them and also where to find the example files of the different calculation functions.
This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching.